Hey guys, here's Piotr from the viewer again and this is the second part of the Lumion video tutorial. So what we want to show you is how you can uh, how you can export 360 images from Lumion and how you can put them in the viewer so you can review them, review them in VR. And in the first video I showed you how you can generate 360 images, like a few of them. And in this video I want to show you how you can go to theviewer.co and how you can use our platform to quickly and easily combine uh, your images into something that we call VR Tour. So then later on you can view them on, I don't know, Oculus Quest, even HTC Vive or your uh, iPhone, Google phone and, and Windows application, whatever. So our platform is supporting all those, our, our solution is supporting all those platforms and uh, actually our app is available for all of them. But uh, you can also, like I'm just doing right now and using the example from recent spaces, you can just embed it on the, on the web. This is actually a very cool uh, tool because it's showing you how you can combine 360 images together with a depth map. So big fan. Anyway, so uh, first of all, let's log in. So you have a big login button and uh, the browser remembers my credentials. So, well, no, it doesn't. So I have to click. Jesus, exhausting. Okay, so I'm logging right now. So this is the main homepage. As you can see, I have different projects here and uh, like VR tours. And I also have project folders. So I already created a Lumion tutorials project folder. I was already testing a bit how I can create this video. So yeah, I, I did some tours. Anywho, so the first step is you hit on the new button, like pretty much any platform. And this is the first choice that you have to take. So uh, you can either create a VR tour or inside of this project that I showed you project folder, you can create another project folder. So to me, a project folder is, is, is kind of like, imagine that you have a customer, let's say customer A, and you would like to group all VR tours inside of the same project folder because you know that they are for a specific customer. So this is what you should do. You should just put them here. But if you just want to create a VR tour, very quickly, we click create a VR tour. So you can type the name. So this will be final VR tour for Lumion tutorial or something. You click create. Okay, and uh, this is the main this is the main thing. So we call it the the web editor, and you can the magic is happening here. So on the left hand side, you can add uh, specific objects to your VR tour. Here you can add panoramas, 360 videos. You can remove them. By the way, if you are not happy with the with the view angle of your panorama, you can override it here very easily. You can add floor plans and and things like this. So this is like a message for you. So the system is telling you, hey, add some panos, you know. So uh, by the way, very many users don't uh, understand this message very well. And I'm not sure why. This is an example. So we are not saying here that we're only supporting 4096 by 2048. No, this is an example. We support way more. And if you go to our help.theviewer.co page, you will see a couple of other examples. However, I'm clicking on add pano to add panoramas. So I will basically drag and drop all the images that I created in Lumion here. Now they're uploading to our system. Uh, in the meantime, what I can share with you is that we have a distributed uh, deployment. So it doesn't matter if you're in Australia, United States or Europe where we are, uh, you're always connecting to the closest server to you. So we're replicating those images. And just to make sure, let's say, uh, a guy in the US should be pulling the data from a US server, not from Europe, just to make sure that everything is working fast. So this is what we do to make your life easier and to make sure that we have a great performance. Okay, so the last panorama is being uploaded. You can view them here. I'll switch to this guy because this should be my first panorama. So as you can see, uh, I think this guy is, you see, this is the current landing panorama. So if we click on the VR tour, you will start here. That's not what I want. I want this guy to be my landing panorama. So set landing panorama. Ta-da, that's it. Now, uh, some of you are also not reading this message, low resolution preview. Let's say you have a 16 kilo panorama, 16K panorama which can be like 30 megabytes. It's a huge file. 
you don't want to load it every time when you want to make change in the editor because it's gonna you know make your life slower and, and, and miserable and just terrible so what we do is we reduce the image resolution to make sure that the editor is working smoothly and and that's it but as soon as you hit save and you go to the to, to the proper viewing mode you will have full resolution so please don't worry about this we're showing you this information this is low resolution panorama displayed only in the editor okay so we have couple of panoramas uh, panorama number two panorama number three so what we want to do is we want to design like a like a walkthrough so your user can just click somewhere and the system will take him to this place okay so what i want to show you here is i want to show you how we can add something that is pretty new it's called transparent hotspot so transparent hotspot is yeah i don't have to give the name for it is the destination panel will be the second panorama not a hyperlink by the way you can add a hyperlink to transparent hotspot just view not now so i will do something like this now the beauty is this is a transparent hotspot so when i'm in the editor of course i can see it but when i will move to proper viewing mode this thing will not be visible so whenever your user will hit will click the left mouse button somewhere here the user will be taken to the second panorama so this is pretty cool because this gives you a proper experience i can also adjust the view a little bit so when i'm creating this hotspot you see the system is loading the next panorama and i can change the viewing angle like this so you see i overwritten the original viewing angle now if i click on the AI, i'll simulate in the editor the user experience you see i'm going here so i'm on the second panorama pretty cool so now i'm going to do the same thing i want to go this direction so transparent hotspot name not needed destination number three and after creation of the transparent hotspot i will want to adjust the view a little bit so let's do it like this you see we're inside of a sphere this is why the hotspot looks a bit maybe funny to you okay yeah i want to look at the tv because this is my final step awesome okay so the same thing transparent hotspot uh, hyperlink not needed number four adjust the view probably not but let's try it anyway okay beautiful mm, ah yeah maybe yeah let's make it straight cool so we're in the last panorama no it's not perfectly straight but yeah it's okay now it's always important to define the path back so i'm in the panorama number four and we want to give the user opportunity to go back to panorama number one to the first one so same process transparent hotspot uh, we go back to the third one adjust view yeah sure okay okay this is the whole area you see this is the default view if uh, when you load this panorama so it's actually a very good idea to adjust the view in this case because when someone is going back to the pool you want the guy you don't want the guy to go back from the tv area and look back in the tv area you know if you if you go straight you want to continue looking straight in the pool area so it's a very very cool feature okay again now in the panorama now we want to go back to the second one guy number two we're almost there guys almost there oh kidoki hump it's not so boring yeah let's do it like this again you see good idea to override and this is where the last panorama is located so i want to create the last transparent hotspot here destination panorama deck adjust the view yeah why not okay somewhere here yeah let's look here look at the sky a nice tree yeah we can meditate here or whatever anyway and that's pretty much it so our panel is created what i can do is simply save it i'm not going to go into details you can watch you can visit help.viewer.co if you want to learn more about our product how you can add thumbnail ambient sound uh, how you can replace panoramas at the death mode and yada, yada yada a lot of a lot of cool features okay so i'm saving this tour yeah the tour is being saved okay so this is my final vr tour for lumion tutorial so you see i'm i'm still logged in i can basically click here 
beautiful so you see loading and now we have a high resolution you see there's a it's way more crispy and it's and it's it's a way better experience uh we have the side panel it's a cool feature that we're developing so we will list all the tools here in this image now you can just click here see and you're traveling to the house to watch the tv and now you can go back clicking here i want to go there and i want to go there this will be the final spot beautiful that's it so, so you see how super easy it is here you have a couple of features heat map will add it in the later uh, in the later somewhere later is here sorry and uh, a side panel and what is cool about our product is that you have many different ways of sharing the store because I always say that creating a VR tour is only 40% of the success. You need to have a proper way to share it with your customers, to view it. So what you can do is you can create a very simple share link. Share link is pretty much uh, a normal web link. So you see I've opened a new tab in my Chrome and I can view this, this tour without being logged in. So now I'm a normal user from the internet. What is super cool is Magic Link. So Magic Link is actually smart enough to recognize if your user, where the user is opening it. So let's say uh, if you open it on a on an iPhone, the system will ask you to download our iOS application. If it's gonna do it the same thing on Android, it's gonna ask you to download the download application. If you open it on a Windows with our the viewer Rift application, the system will try to open the store in the Rift because this is the best experience. So they are pretty cool. Magic Code is used something for Oculus Go and Quest mainly because on those devices it's very difficult to copy and let's say it's difficult to copy on Windows a link and then paste it in Quest. I don't know how to do it without using of the messenger so it's, it's a little bit complicated. So Magic Code is a few digit code that you simply type in the application it's going to open your open your uh, your tour and you can view it embed so this is traditional iframe code embed some websites like behance are not approving js code so we're using iframe for this purpose but if you if your system is supporting js code we strongly recommend js code because uh, if you open a website with an embedded tour via the iframe code you will not be able to use your gyroscope because the the, the system is forbidding it it's, it's a security policy you can google about it and we can share more information about it but if you use js code everything's working fine so yeah so you can share it like uh, normally in the web browser via the magic link magic code you can view it in oculus quest and please make sure that you check out our youtube channel because we have a very cool video showing how you can use something that we call shared experience so you can actually meet pretty much like in skype with avatars meet inside of a vr tour and view it together with your colleagues and yeah and it's also very very important to know that you can embed it on your website so thanks a lot for watching it I hope it was not too boring and if you have any questions go to our website and use this this guy this chat or visit definitely you should also visit our help pages uh, to read a bit more about our features or what is new in the viewer and if you have any questions yeah talk to us or leave a comment under the video and and just let us know how we can you know make the system better for you because at the end of the day we're not using the system, you are. So it's important for us to know what you want. Okay, thanks, cheers.